It might be a catfish. It is a crab diesel giant. Oh my god. Oh, that was that was a pretty cool catch, wasn't it? Um a little disclaimer on this video. Do not go out here and replicate this technique unless you're ready to to piss off some dock owners. I'm just this little disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Uh I call this technique the forbidden technique, aka ramming docks. To a dock owner, you're gonna look like you're destroying it. But in reality, you're down there catching a toad of your life. This this technique gets your bait to where the fish have not ever seen a bait. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe down below. We're dropping a ton of content in 2023. Man, I hope you guys come along with me. Damn, that's a big fish. I found my damn jig. <laughs> Yeah, my damn jig going way too damn shallow. All right. Oh shit, he turned. Come on, buddy. Got it. That's a giant. It might be a catfish. This is a crab is a giant. Oh my god. Oh god, dude. Am I recording? Yes. Toad. God almighty. Got a scale? I don't. I get it. Oh my God. So the technique that we're talking about today is what I like to call dock ramming. Now, I don't know where this technique originated from. It's kind of just a local thing that I picked up like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I seen some other people doing it and I didn't know what they were doing. So I went behind them and just started sticking my pole under the water. I mean, this was before, you know, forward facing sonar was even thought of. Uh, we barely had side scan at the time. Side scan was new to me when I started picking this up. So essentially, I'm, I'm just gonna explain that era and then we'll go into the forward facing sonar era. If you don't have forward facing sonar, this technique still works. To this day, you're able to get fish this way. So if you have side scan or even down scan, you see fish on the dock, all right? You cannot get to these fish because they're up under the dock. And if you don't have any wind to push your jig or any current in your water, if it's just flat or, you know, there just isn't enough to get all the way in the middle of this dock. This is the technique that you need to do. Now, like I said in, in the intro, I'm warning you guys, let me get up here with you. I'm warning you guys. This technique has gotten me in a lot of crap. Uh, dock owners do not like seeing you doing this. So take this video with a grain of salt. You're going to get cussed at. You're going to get just crazy people out there getting all up in your stuff. And it's going to happen because you are directly all over their dock. And, you know, if you do it correctly, you're not hurting anything. But to a dock owner that doesn't know how to fish, they're going to think you're down there doing something. So just take, take this whole video with a grain of salt. If you don't want any confrontation, which I don't really like them, but sometimes there's a really big one down there and this is the only way I can get to them. And that's normally the only time I ever use this technique anymore. 
anyway, anyway, I just want to give you all that real quick. Now, before forward facing sonar, you know, I've got this 13 foot ACC. Now back then I had a 10 foot B&M pole, you know, the one you get from Walmart, 20 bucks. But what you want to do, you want to let out probably, I don't know, maybe three feet of line, four feet of line. And it depends on where the fish is at. If the fish are really deep, I mean, come on guys, put, the, put the, the lure deeper. But, you know, get your favorite crappy man jig, a little minnow, crappy man green is what I caught that giant on in today's video. But you want about four feet of line. Now essentially, you know, let's take this tree right here for example. I'm, I'm, I think you can see it in the camera, I'm not sure. You know, we new to this whole filming thing. <laughs> But essentially, you want to get parallel with this dock. You know, when I was fishing in my John boat, I would get all the way in the floor so I could be parallel to the water. That way, you're able to get your pole up under this dock without having it like this. Now, I know in today's video, I had my pole all crooked, but the fish I caught was like 15 foot deep and it didn't matter. But when these fish are suspended in like five five feet of water up under the dock if you go in at an angle you're actually going to start hitting the fish and they're going to run now that's one way you could do it if you don't have electronics you just ram your pole up under it swoosh it around and if you hit one then there's fish up under there <laughs> but you want to get parallel to the water now in my 14 foot high tide i'm so close to the water you know, I just stick it off the side of the boat and I'm good. But if you're in a boat that has a deck or something, you've got to get in the floor because you can't do this technique sitting down. So that's how you execute the technique. Now let's talk about how to actually fish it. Now, when you're actually fishing it, you know, you're going to have your line as you, you essentially, what you're going to do, if you have a spinning rod, it works just fine. You want to hold your line in your in your whole hand. You know, whatever. This hand, this hand, whatever hand you're not ramming with. You want to hold your line. And you want to put this pole as far under there as you think those fish are. And, you know, this is the everything. You know, you're going to hold the line. You're going to twitch the jig. And when you get a bite, you don't do this. You don't jerk up. You want to pull the line, hold it, and sweep your rod out from under the dock. And that's how you set the hook. Now, being able to detect the bite, that's the easiest thing in the world with this technique because you've got the line in your hand. You're directly kind of, that's the easiest thing in the world because you've got your line in your hand and you're directly connected to the fish. I've said that a million times, that's why I put my finger on the line. Any technique I do, I put my finger on the line because that is the least furthest part because that is the most contact you have with your lure is your line. You know, your rod comes second. When the fish bites, they're gonna bite your line. They're gonna bite your lure. Your lure is connected to your line. Your line's on your finger. It's like a trigger. That's how you get more bites. That's how you are able to feel more bites. So you're holding the line, you jerk with the line, you're setting the hook with the line, like you're free lining. And you want to swipe it out from under the dock and you want to keep pressure on him. You know, slowly let your line out. As you see, when I caught this fish, I slowly let that line back. And then it's just you, the rod and the fish. But that's how you do it without four facing sonar you find them on whatever depth finder you got or if you don't got one just keep swishing it around until you hit one or get lucky and you go up under there and you get a bite either way now like the saying goes if you ain't scoping you're hoping so if you do have access to four facing sonar i know it is expensive it's slowly coming down but i, I mean to be honest with you guys you randy ball knack fans I mean, you just cut the video off right now because live scope is the future. I mean, that that's just plain and simple. It's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm, I'm just going to say that. But with live scope, 
this technique becomes absolutely deadly because you're able to find that one big fish like I did in today's video. I was able to locate this fish. I was fishing with my buddy Jeffrey. You know, we fish, that, that's our second trip out together and both trips we have landed a giant ramming docks. It, it's just fun. So forward facing sonar, you know, if you have it on your trolling, I've never done it on trolling motor. I cannot, I, I don't know about a trolling motor. But when you have it on a pole, I get down in the floor like I was in today's video, right beside the pole. You know, I've got it angled right beside the pole. You can actually see the tip of the rod on your forward facing sonar in the water. So you follow your tip of your rod, you find your bait. If you, you've got to find your bait as soon as possible. And whenever you find your bait, your jig, your minnow, whatever you're ramming with, then you move your rod accordingly. You find the brightest return, and you're doing all this before you even click the button. You find the brightest return on that fish, you find the brightest return on that jig, you put them hand in hand, click the button, you let your line out, and then you slowly ram this dock, get the jig, you know, a centimeter or two above him, hold your line and hold on, because you'll see the fish actually swim one good time if that fish his tail does that when your jig gets above him just hold on set the hook and swipe him out of that dock so hopefully you know i've been playing you know clips from yesterday's trip in the background out there with jeffrey i've tried to explain as best as i could but get out there try this technique and i really hope you enjoy the biggest catch I've caught this year, 2023. He was 15 inches, one pound, 75 ounces. Now that isn't huge for you guys that's got those two, three pounders, but down here in the South, that's a freaking toad. So hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Like I said, do not go out here and do this technique if you got really bad dock owners. Um, I've got docks with wires. I've got docks with fishing string all hung around them uh, Chicken wire all that like You know, I've got 8,000 something followers on YouTube that apparently like my videos But these dog owners do not like me at all. So thank you guys for liking me But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me I got a lot more content coming in 2023 we're gonna be breaking down crappy fishing all year long. We're gonna catch them all year long like we have been the past three or four years I've been doing this. So follow along with me. We're gonna upgrade a lot of stuff this year, hopefully get a new vehicle, go out to these other lakes that people want me to try, go out there and catch them. So hope y'all stay along with me.